Hey, welcome back at yet another video. Today, we are not going to do anything smart home related, but we're giving my PC a proper upgrade. Or upgrade, it's not like we're upgrading some hardware, but we're going to water cool some hardware. Currently, I have my PC already water cooled partly, so only the CPU is water cooled. I wanted to have custom water cooling. I didn't want to have an AAO, but I also didn't want to pay like more than a thousand euros for water cooling. So I finally came to the EK Fluid Gaming Kit. It's pretty cheap. The set that I already have in my PC, it's like 200 euros. This all extra is 300 euros. So for 500 euros, I have a fully water cooled PC. So let's go through all the parts. This is the Vega 64 water block. We will be unboxing it quite soon. This is the EK360 radiator. I got a couple of fittings, as we will see when we unbox the Vega block. It doesn't come included with the fittings. I had to order them separately. I mailed the guy because the website said that it would come with the fittings, but I wanted to be sure and gladly I did. So I bought them as well. I also bought a fan splitter. I want to add three additional fans, but I still have to order them. So that might be in a future video. I got the Blue Navy uh, Premix. Currently, I also have blue fluid. I didn't want to have the clear fluid. I want to have some color in my system. I also bought a new reservoir because the standard one is really small. It's only this big. I have some distilled water. Distilled water is mainly to clean the new part. So I will rinse the red and also the Vega block. And I got some new tube. It's, I believe, three meters in length. So I now have enough to build the system. So first, let's unbox the Vega block. For this one, I'm the most excited because I really want to cool this GPU. The GPU runs like 80 degrees all the times so when I'm gaming or really editing, so it's really hot. So I can't wait for this to be installed. So inside we see thermal pads are included and a little bit of thermal grease or thermal compound, uh, two end caps and a couple of screws to, to screw everything together. A little manual. This time I will follow the manual because I don't want to screw this one up. <laughs> And inside, oh, this is nice. Let me see, that's everything. This is a really nice block. I hope my greasy fingers don't ruin it, but. Oh, look at this. It doesn't come included with a backplate. Somehow I expected it to come with a backplate, but the Vega 64 already has a backplate, so I guess it's no problem. But it's really nice to see. It's like a matte black finish. It's really nice. It also comes included with some lighting. So the Radeon and EK logo, I believe both, will light up. You can see that here it's a, a cable included. So yeah, let's see what it will be when we install it. As you saw with, it, with the included packaging, there aren't any fittings included. So I'm really glad that I bought those separate. So this is the EK block. Let's put that aside. Next thing, we will be opening the radiator. So this one, it's a bigger box, but it's not only a radiator, you also get three included fans. You also get with every packaging this label. You should never mix anything with the aluminum set. So copper and like all the other products, don't mix them. You get galvanic corrosion, it's called. And you really don't want that in the system. So as you can see, Three fans included, I will unbox one, if I can get it out. <laughs> it's just a standard Vader fan, it's, those are quite good, quite a lot of push through. Uh, included with some screws, that's nice. So these are the other two. Then we have another fan splitter, because this is for the three fans included. Here you can see we got the fittings also included, some packaging, and then the radiator looks kind of small in this kind of box. <laughs> so it isn't like the ones you see in, in high-end builds, like really thick radiators. Also some more hardware for installing it, of course. Nice. With the kit I bought for the CPU, it came with a 240 RAD instead of a 360. 
This time I chose the 360 because if I remember correctly, the 240 is only for the CPU. It needs that kind of uh, surface to dissipate the heat. And the 360 will be enough for the Vega 64. So my system should be capable of, of getting rid of all the heat. So let's find out. Yeah, the fluid. I won't unbox because yeah, that will make a mess. <laughs> As I said, this one is really for cleaning. I will put the end caps that are, that are inside of the packaging from the Vega block. I'll put them on here so I can thoroughly rinse the radiator. So I know that there is no metal shavings or aluminum shavings or anything inside that could pollute my system. This one I'm also very stoked about. Standard that comes with a, with a really tiny one. I wanted to see a bigger one because the space where my pump is, it's, it's kind of empty there because there is nothing else there except for a pump and the, uh, the reservoir. So I'm really fond of this one. I really want to see it in the system. Yeah, and the last and the most boring one, it's the, if I can get it out. Let's open it. I'm pretty bad at unboxing. <laughs> Yeah, it's just three meters hose. I just grabbed the label. It's the nine and a half millimeters inside and of inner diameter and 12.7 millimeters outer diameter. So they know what hose I'm using. I'm also using this hose because the fittings are, that are included are also this diameter. So I couldn't choose another one or I should replace all my fittings. Uh, in the future, I want to upgrade to the hard tube because currently it's possible to, bu to buy it but it's kind of expensive for me. If you want to sponsor me, that's okay. <laughs> but for now, I will stick with the flexible tubing and when I want, I will move to the, to the rigid tubes. So that's it for the unboxing. I will be shutting down my system. I will be cleaning everything and I will be putting it apart. So I hope I will shoot some B-roll. I hope I don't forget to film anything or that, that something goes wrong because in a couple of hours I really want to gain so if anything goes wrong I won't film it and I won't put it together <laughs> and start gaming so let's find out So that was a quick time lapse of building this PC. As you can see, the installing of the tubes you missed because I lost the footage of that time lapse. I don't know exactly what happened. I guess the phone is too old to work properly. <laughs> As you can see, I installed a new reservoir, the bigger one. I installed a new top radiator. I installed the GPU block together with a couple of new fittings. For now, this will remain a push configuration. In the next video, I will convert this push configuration to a push pull, just like the one in the back. The three Corsair fans will be replaced by the new ones from GamerStorm or Deepcool. And those will come, the Corsair fans will go to the top to hopefully give me a little bit of a blue glow onto the rest of the components. And the MF120S will go into the back and I bought those because I really like the look of those fans, but I'm still not sure how they're going to look with a big reservoir in the front. Maybe if I really don't like it, I will put back the old one, the smaller one, or if I like it, I just keep it like this. That's it for this video. I'm planning to redo my PC. 
after installing those fans, I don't know if I will stick with this case or move to another one. That's never a certain thing in my life. I keep switching cases and components. <laughs> Uh, my girlfriend also has a YouTube channel and she wants to improve her PC so we're also going to do an improvement and also going to mod her PC but that will be around the summer I guess because she really needs the PC now and it's too cold outside to spray paint anything. I also have a retro PC and a server I might do a upgrade for those as well. But the next video will be about the MF120S fans and the single slot bracket because I want to replace the dual slot bracket for this video card. That's it for now. If you really like this kind of content, please give this video a like. If you really want to follow everything I do, then subscribe to the channel. You will stay updated. There is more smart home stuff coming in the future because uh, Philips is going to release some new stuff. IKEA, Trust, so there's always something to review for me. So for now, Subscribe, a like, and I will see you the next time. Bye.